In this lecture, I will discuss the concept of the connectivity map or links using a geometrical intuition. For simplicity and visualization, let's say that we can measure the expression level of two genes. These can also be two proteins. In reality, we can measure the level of many molecular species at once, but by looking at two, this will allow us to sketch it out. So let's say that both of these genes are expressed at a higher level in some disease tissue when we compare it to neighboring normal tissue. So now we have a relevant cell line where in that cell line the expression of gene 2 is almost the same as in the normal tissue in the disease but gene 1 is slightly highly expressed. Now we treat that cell line with a drug and measure expression after a few hours. The expression is now changed by reducing the level of the two genes in the same direction when comparing the disease versus the normal tissue. Because we are doing it in very high dimension, we can prioritize drugs that can potentially reverse the expression in disease. Let's say now that we have a drug that we know that works for that disease and is already used to treat the disease. We can try this drug on various cell lines and see the effect of the change in direction. What we find is that in many cases the drugs that are known to treat the disease pushes the expression in the desired direction. So this knowledge can be used to find new drugs that potentially do the same as existing drugs and maybe do it better. Some drugs may push the cell towards the disease direction. In that case, this can be used to predict side effects that manifest similar to a disease. Most side effects that are caused by drugs have an associated disease that those drugs can induce. This is very abstract, but we will see later how we can make practical predictions and prioritization of small molecules to treat various diseases using this approach. There are several lectures from our previous course, Network Analysis in Systems Biology, that look into this geometrical approach in more detail. One method that we developed called the characteristic direction is a improved method to identify differentially expressed genes and it takes advantage of this geometrical view. Another related method called principal component analysis reduce the high dimensionality of gene expression into two or three dimension for the purpose of visualization clustering. We did not include those lectures in this course but if you're interested you can watch the videos of those lectures on my YouTube channel. Gusto stato, stato, stato.